All this week, we are profiling extraordinary people here in Connecticut. We begin our new series, Someone You Should Know, with the story of two young Connecticut women who have been defying the odds since the day they were born. On a golden fall afternoon, not far from the banks of the Housatonic River in New Milford, sisters Carmen and Lupita Andrade Solis are out with their dog Toby, checking on the birds in their backyard. There are chickens and ducks to feed and eggs to gather. The two do everything together and will for the rest of their lives. Carmen and Lupita are conjoined twins, one of fewer than 10 sets living in the world today. Come on. We're two peas in a pod. <laughs> Their story begins in Veracruz, Mexico, where Carmen and Lupita were born 19 years ago. Their mother, Norma, knew early on she was carrying twins, but during a routine ultrasound at five months along, the doctor grew very quiet. I did something wrong, doctor. And he said, um, you had twins, but you had conjunct twins. She didn't believe it at first, so she found like a second and third opinion, and then they confirmed that we were conjoined. <laughs> Defying the odds, Norma carried the girls to term, but soon after they were born, doctors knew the babies were in trouble. They didn't think we were actually gonna make it, so they wanted us to have like last rites. Surgery to separate them was not an option, and Lupita was very sick. So their mother turned to the organization Healing the Children for help. The family came to Connecticut seeking American expertise, and again, surgery was ruled out. Their prognosis was if we did get separated, we'd either have to be in the ICU for the rest of our lives or um, we wouldn't make it through the surgery. The twins share too many vital organs. We have uh, two separate hearts, two separate sets of lungs. Um, our backs, we have two separate backs, but it can enter into one spinal cord. Um, what else? We share reproductive system, digestive system, uh, bloodstream. They had to learn to live the way they were born. One of the biggest challenges early on was figuring out how to walk. I control my right leg, she controls her left leg, and basically everything is split down the middle for feeling. Being top heavy and with each twin separately moving her own leg, they had to find the right rhythm. We started walking at around four to five years old. We would be in a stroller or wheelchair um, so we don't get too tired. They had a much easier time walking on their hands. It took years of physical therapy to master walking on their own two feet. Is it automatic for you now? We don't think, think about it anymore. <laughs> you don't? No, it's now instinct. It's so beautiful. Every move, every decision they make requires agreement, but they are still two different people with distinct personalities. She has a lot of compassion for people. She doesn't talk much, so there's, that's, that's also sometimes a good thing. <laughs> She's pretty smart. Um, she helps me a lot in school and stuff. She helped me to learn how to read. Carmen is strong. Carmen is very strong, very, sometimes it's very tough. Lupita's quiet, but when she have one answer, it's very the correct answer. What happens when you two have disagreements? How are they resolved? Kind of walk away from each other, just, you just can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we, did, we haven't really fought since we were five. We had to learn how to get along pretty quickly or else we'd get nothing done. And together they've done remarkable things, approaching life with a clear acceptance of who they are. We're not special needs, we're not disabled, we're not one person with two heads, we're two different individuals that just happen to share a body.
And coming up on Eyewitness News at 530, we will see how the twins live their daily lives. Everything from college classes to handling rude questions. And they are learning to drive. Yes, they can do that, too. All right, Mark, thank you very much. Now, on Eyewitness News at 5, we met conjoined twins who live in New Milford, and we learned why they cannot be separated. But that has not stopped Carmen and Lupita Andrade Solis from living full lives. Tonight, we continue our special series, Someone You Should Know, with a look at their daily lives and their mission to get a good education. Conjoined twins Carmen and Lupita Andrade Solis are in a hurry. On a raw and rainy morning with a backpack in tow, they're headed to class at Northwestern Connecticut Community College in Winstead. Their movements are so perfectly choreographed, not even the stairs can slow them down. The twins are Mexican immigrants chasing the American dream. We are trying to get into the certified vet, vet tech uh, program, but um, we're also trying to go to Yukon, hopefully next year or in the spring of 2021, um, to double major in agricultural business and animal science. Finding the money for Yukon will not be easy, but Carmen and Lupita are hopeful and they are serious students. Have you guys done your annotated bibliography? Yes. Mine is like saying like, um, what role has social media played in like the decline of vaccinations? And getting a good education has always been their top priority. Several years ago, when they were still in high school, they spoke out in favor of the Afford to Dream Act, a law that opens scholarship money to immigrants who came to Connecticut as children. Education is important to me because I have the opportunity to learn and absorb knowledge that other girls in other parts of the world can. We had a whole like community of people that were going through similar things with us. Carmen and Lupita are legal immigrants who came to this country for medical care, but they do support undocumented immigrants. One protest in Hartford a couple of years ago did not go over well with their parents. They didn't like it, but luckily we weren't the, type, we weren't the people that got arrested. Their fearlessness has not gone unnoticed. On the day we met the twins, a film crew from London was there shooting a documentary that will air next year in the UK. I'm Lupita. And the twins are not shy about putting themselves out there on social media. They have a YouTube channel where they answer viewer questions. Can you control each other's legs and arms? No. No, we cannot. But venturing out into the public, just doing normal things that 19-year-olds do, means dealing with reaction. Uh, there's people that would stare, but it's because just, they're just in shock. Um, there's people that um, straight up just like take pictures of us without our like consent. People feel bad. We, we are like this. I guess they don't know how to react or do anything about it. So they're like, oh, poor girls and just put like a five dollar bill in our hands and we're like, oh, what? <laughs> the twins admit there were times growing up when they struggled with body image. If we do feel like down in the dumps about our image, we usually like talk to my mom. Um, and she helps us out through that. Um, what does she say? Well, you are who you are. You can't really change anything about that. You can just change your attitude about it. So we did. Humor is a big part of their lives and often the way they handle rude questions. If it's a really dumb question, like, um, like, are you guys like really twins? We usually respond with no, we're just really close cousins that decide to be closer. Um, <laughs> Or we were in a science experiment and it got really wrong. I mean, if you can't make fun of yourself, how are you living life? And soon, living life will bring greater independence. The twins are learning to drive. In the beginning of November, mid-November, we're probably going to take our test. All they need is a cushion to sit a little higher in the car. Carmen does all the driving. Lupita just can't get a good view of the road. I can't see over the dashboard. She can screw up and I can't tell. <laughs> then with their father, Victor, in the front seat and everyone buckled up, they go out for a spin around the neighborhood. Making a left turn requires a little extra effort, but the twins and their dad are relaxed and confident. 
Honestly, we don't view ourselves as having a disability. We have limitations, but we don't. We can walk, we can do things independently without our parents' help. We just help each other. They really are remarkable young women. I love how they hold hands. They do, and they, yeah. they work their hands so well together. Yeah. It's amazing. And tonight on Eyewitness News at 11, we'll learn about Carmen and Lupita's plans for the future and how they are dealing with a serious medical problem. And hopefully, hopefully they can get the money they need to go to UConn. To go to That'd UConn. Nice to see. Let's hope. Yeah. And then you can join me at 6.30 on the WFSB Facebook page for a live question and answer session about the twins. Earlier today, Channel 3's Denise DeCenzo profiled the lives of conjoined twins who live in New Milford. We learned how they tackle the challenges, physically and emotionally, of going through life sharing one body. And tonight, Denise discovers their dreams for the future and the serious health problems they face. It's open barn day at Arethusa Dairy Farm in Litchfield, and twins Carmen and Lupita Andrade Solis are as close as they can possibly get to their dream. Look at you. <laughs> Hi. The twins have a fondness for animals. They don't judge. They probably do, but they just don't say that they're judging. It's a passion they learned from their father, Victor. While we were growing up, he worked at different horse barns around um, New Milford and Bridgewater and all that kind of things. Um, he taught us to never be afraid of animals, like that they have feelings too. And for Carmen and Lupita, there is something special about cows. They're really cute. They have really warm, deep eyes. You can just tell everything about them. And the affection is clearly mutual. You can eat my sweater, but not my hair. You see, their dream is to go to Yukon to become dairy herd operations managers, to run a dairy like Arethusa Farms. You're in charge of the operation. You uh, oversee the employees, and you also see if the um, cows need any like help with anything, birthing, medication, and you're the manager. <laughs> Payroll, that kind of thing. Achieving success in their professional lives will be enough. The twins are resigned to a future that does not include partners. No, we kind of had to accept that it's not going to happen. Um, we kind of accepted that when we were um, growing up. So there's that. So they move forward with hope for the future. What would you like to see for Carmen and Lupita? I hope they can um, reach the dream that they have. And their dream is to someday be able to take care of their parents. My idea is mostly just not having my parents work, kind of like supporting them. Because my mom has three jobs. My dad works a lot. Carmen and Lupita are grateful for all their parents have sacrificed in teaching them how to live a purposeful life. My mom has been through a lot in her life, yet she has such a positive, upbeat attitude towards everything. She's taught us to be like fearless and not really care about what other people think about us. And from their father. Don't judge other people. Just because of the way they look, you try to like dig a little deeper. Um, you don't know anybody's life without like getting to know them. They are lessons that will hold the twins in good stead as they face a new and worsening health problem. Lupita has severe scoliosis that has reduced her lung capacity to just 27%. I have almost a 90 degree curve on my spine. Um, it's like technically crushing my lungs, but over time, I didn't have it before as much as I do now, but it doesn't hurt. They were thinking about a surgery, but it was way too risky. And so, what's the solution? Um, nothing. We have no solution. Try to live life to the fullest right now.
it's incredible, incredible young, incredible women. young women. I was going to say the same yeah. thing. I mean, it's hard not to watch that. You feel for them in so many ways, but they they have an incredible sense of humor as well, which they is do. nice to see. Yeah, I'm just blown away by their strength and uh, perseverance, and it's just amazing. By the way, there were two other stories, and we have them posted right now on WFSB.com as well as the Channel 3 app.